Hello, we will be firing up the 16 core Mac Pro and using virtual instruments, we're gonna make a musical arrangement come to life. I'll tell you that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is sort of like a bass line and I'm gonna use my uh, trusty MIDI controller to do so. It's gonna be kind of like the double basses in an orchestra. And so I'm going to select a virtual instrument here, okay? So I'm gonna select, uh, for instance, this one, the VPS Avenger. You can't go wrong with the VPS Avenger. There it is. Now next we gotta get a preset here. Let's check it out. Click on factory. So I'm gonna select, I was a scream. I like this sound. I know it already. All right, it's like that. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull down the cutoff, all right? I'm gonna pull down the cutoff. All right, so I'm gonna do four chords, like four notes. All right, so let's do this, let's record. I'm gonna click on this uh, little star So I went E, G, C, A. Every bar, I changed it up. That was really the hardest part because next you're gonna, you know, I'll go right back to that VPS Avenger. And so I'm going to find a synth sound. Here we go. Haunted horn. And uh, we're going to now record on instrument 21. I want to find my root note. Maybe I'll just start with the E again. All right, let's just play with this. All right, so now that I got that, I'm gonna use this thing called Output Arcade. It's Arcade by the company Output. All right, so as you can see there, let's play with this. I wanna find like some vocals or something. All right, so let's see here. See, when you first pull out a sound kit on Arcade, you need to make sure that it's in the same key. This kit is in D major, so we need to change it to E minor because that is the key of our song. I'll do that right now, thank you. All right, let's try this. So, I'm gonna play it and I'm just gonna play around with this. So, now that we have that, we should add some drums. Bam, right? Drop that. Let's drop them all over the freaking place, right? See, I have these really trusty bass and snare drum clap sounds, which I organized like so.
So what we're going to do now is duplicate, 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 and then I will create variations out of the duplicates. I'll delete certain elements and then create little breaks by cutting out the last few notes of the phrases here and there. And then we're gonna edit the video to save you the pain and agony and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And as you can see here on the screen, I have created a masterpiece. I think it's very nice. A little bit about it. It's been about an hour and I was able to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate and create variations, make cuts and all of that good stuff. And a lot of the time I wasn't even listening to it. I was doing it visually and uh, you know, it's a mathematical thing. So let's take a listen and let's see if it is a good thing or not. Let me know in the comments what you think of this track and uh, you know, we're probably going to do much more with it, like uh, go crazy with vocals. And when it's totally done, it would be great to get your feedback on if you like it or if you think it's a hit or if you think it's some, some stuff that needs to get thrown in the trash. I will wait for your feedback on that. So thank you very much. Make sure to uh, you know subscribe and like, comment, and sign up at Online Goldmine if you wanna learn how to produce music, produce video, make tons of money with marketing, and sell domain names. All right, thank you, I'll see you.